Welcome back to the Chopsy's Garage. This time we're tinkering with supermotos. Hmm. This one. Supermoto builds. What do you need for a supermoto build? Well, first of all, you need a kick-ass enduro bike. You also need some tasty, very, very tasty wheels and tyres. You also need, I guess, some brakes. Some decent brakes. And last and not least, it's optional, but a bit of bling. So there it is. This is this is my 500 EXC. It's a 2017 six days edition uh, enduro bike KTM, of course. <laughs> it's a common theme here, apart from the the gorgeous Jazuki. But yeah, so um, this is the base. I, I I've had 701 Supermotos. They're brilliant. I've been there. I've done that. I wanted to go to the next level. It's about the same power as the 701, but 30 kilos lighter. So this is a a real beast of a bike. So we've got SM Pro wheels to go on with Avon rubber. We've also got Moto Master brake setup. New caliper, new disc, new lines, new pads. Uh, we've got Mud Pig Racing Bling in this box. Gearing change, obviously this has got a 52 inch rear sprocket as standard. So on the road, it tops out at about 90 miles an hour. And it, you know, it, it sucked through the gear so quickly. You're constantly going up through the gearbox. So I'm going for 44 teeth rear and a 14 front. That should make it more road. Should be better cruise reasonably at 60, 70. Um, also with the wheels, we've got a cush drive to smoothen things out. We've got a cush drive here, so you're not lashing. You know, no, no, because standard these, are, there's no cush drive, so you're just on and off the. As soon as you're on the gas, you know, it's quite, it's quite juddery because there's no cush drive. These wheels have a cush drive. Um, it should be geared nicely. At the moment, it'll wheelie in every gear. Six speed, it'll actually get the wheels up in every, the wheels, well, you get the front wheel up in any gear at the moment. With that gear in change, I'm hoping clutch ups, fourth gear still. Brilliant. We have the disc, which I think is a, I think it's a 320 mil disc. Um, so that has to go on the front wheel, like so. But I don't have spare bolts, so I'm going to have to take that wheel out, borrow the disc bolts from that to mount that on there. First job, take off the whole brake line, because the Moto Master kit actually comes with a new caliper and a new master cylinder and the line. So I want to use this bike off-road still during the winter, so what I can do is just you know, take the whole whole brake line off. Brake line, leave it all connected, just take the whole thing off at once. You don't have to re-bleed then and just put the whole Enduro brake system back on again. So that, that's got to be done. So I think the first job, front wheel out, disc on, wheel back in, and then we'll do the brakes in a minute. Let's just loosen these little bastards. Bar, extension bar. Right, that will come out, I think, if it can come out past that guard. Yes, it can. In the pot. And I think you can just pull, yes. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That were easy. So I'll just take all this off now. Bend over. One of these is the Speedo. So I'm gonna, I need to retain the Speedo cable. Da -da 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 -da. I'll slide out of there. First interesting predicament, this guard has the speedo feed going through it, so I've got to take go right in to unplug the speedo from here, and I'm hoping it will pull through that guard to remove this, because the brake line's through here. I don't want to split the brake line. Also, 
the brake light switch. I don't have a new, I don't have a brake light switch to go onto the new master cylinder. There's where the brake light switch goes. The, the KTM stock one is like a pop fit. That's a little screw one. So I'm gonna have to try and get a, a brake light switch that fits that master cylinder. So let's unplug this bugger, pull it through, get the brake system off in one shot. So I think, I think that will slide through this sleeve from this end. It's tight. Yes. Oh God, it's tight. Tight as hell. Ah, there we go. That means the caliper can come off. That can come with it. Attached to the master cylinder still. There we go. I think that then goes like so that's to space the uh, caliper away because of the disc so we have to just put on the speedo pickup into the newly provided hole Woo Ugh. too much uh, too much that goes on there like that and then the moto master caliper Sits on that. The Moto Master. I went for the Moto Master four pot racing brake setup, which is what this is. Four pot caliper, billet, with the bracket, with the disc, all the bolts, the pads. That's going to give me some serious braking. Oh yeah, stoppies, here we come. Pads fitted. Time for the Loctite. Sexy, sexy. Yeah, I would say uh, that's going to give us a bit more stopping power than that one. The size difference. She's going to stop on a ten pence piece. You don't need to go bananas on these little bolts. It comes with a selection of spacers and shit. I guess one's the back wheel, one's the front wheel. Don't take money! Plenty of grease, plenty of lube. Classics, Chops FM. Spaces in, I think they're the right spaces. Um, dust seals greased, 22 mil spaces. There's also different size space. They obviously give you all of the various options for this. So. I think we're ready to get the wheel in. Let's take the caliper off, of course, because the wheel won't slide in with the caliper on because it's much wider than the standard. Let's get it in. Very sexy. Wheel in, starting to look very cool. Got the caliper nicely centralised on the disc. Focus. So it's quite, it's just exactly central, which says to watch for. So I can connect all the lines now and start sort of bleeding, or I could just forget that and get on with the back one. See what it looks like. It's a sexy, sexy setup. SM Pro wheels. Oh yeah, oh yeah, baby. This is the mudguard off the FS450, the little supermoto, racing supermoto Husqvarna cell. Because they're a bit spit long, the Enduro mudguard, so I thought the white, get some of the Spain graphics for it. So I don't know how easy it's going to be to mount. It looks like it's going to go straight onto me, actually. Those mounting things look identical. Let's bang it on. Baby, when you're at the wheel, I can't believe the way I feel. Straight on job, but of course you know me, it can't go straight on without a clean. <laughs> straight on the existing mounts and underneath. Bloody beautiful. So I just got to hope the cowl will now sit in those, they should do. I think that will go in those holes there. By the time it fits around here. Oh yeah. Okay, so that's the FS400 mudguard fitted and the cow back on. Quite a tight squeeze to get it back on, but it fits perfectly. You'd never guess Husqvarna and KTM were the same company, would you? So I was going to put the uh, mount, the 
new master cylinder now and put the line in. A little bit that side. Oh, oh dear. Ugh. Ow! Little bleeding syringe. This is how I do my brake bleeding. Seems to work quite well. Are we ready for this? Bodgetastic. Don't worry, I'm a trained professional. But it's so wide, these wheels, they're really hard to get in without just scratching the hell out of them, getting them past the caliper and stuff. Simple as that. Oh, welcome back to the Chopsy's Garage for the ultimate Supermoto build. <laughs> so, Super... So, welcome, welcome again. Ooh, what shall we say? It's optional, but a bit of bling. <laughs> 